Hi everyone, today's video is part two of my miscellaneous loungefly collection, so let's check out some bags. First up, we have Inside Out. Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing bong, bing bong. His rocket makes you yell hooray. Bing bong, bing bong. Now this bag was a difficult bag when it came to finding a good placement, but I'm definitely happy with what I got. My favorite characters are Sadness, Disgust, and Bing Bong, so I'm thrilled that there's plenty of them on this bag. I did once upon a time own the cosplay bag of Bing Bong, but it was a bit too loud for my taste, so I did end up letting it go. This bag is more my style, and I paired it with some keychains that I got off Macari. The inside lining are some memory spheres against a light blue background, and I haven't yet used this bag, but I definitely plan on it. Now let's check out one of my favorite custom bags that I made, which is Luca. Silencio Bruno. What's wrong with you, stupido? Huh? This movie was so, so good. I love that those two iconic quotes are on this print. The Silencio Bruno and what's wrong with you, stupido? I can't believe Loungefly hasn't made a bag for Luca yet. I know Danielle Nicole came out with one with that lifesaver ring on the front, but I just wanted a bag with more emphasis on the characters. I got these keychains as well as the bag, both from Box Lunch during Box Lunch Money Days. The original bag, I believe, was referred to as the Disney Sidekicks. I chose this bag because I thought the blue piping and straps really went well with the Luca theme. And here's the matching wallet. If I had to choose my favorite image on this print, I think it would have to be Massimo with his cat. My second favorite would be Luca, half in and out floating on the water. I couldn't be more happier to have this set in my collection. Up next is Pinocchio. I won this bag in a giveaway and I love all the movie moments on it. This was a pink Ella mode exclusive and I think they did a really good job on it. If I had to change anything, it would be the white background since any white bags tend to make me nervous that I'm gonna stain it. I don't know if that's a me thing or, but background aside, it's still a really gorgeous bag. Now onto another custom, this time it's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's showtime. As you can probably see, I did customize the nameplate since it originally said Disney on it and I like my plates to match my bags. On the fabric, we have so many icons from the movie, including Miss Argentina, who is a fan favorite. My personal favorite image though on this bag would have to be the Polaroid of the ghosts. I have this keychain that I got off Amazon and this was actually originally a Aladdin tattoo mini backpack that I got on sale from Grotto Treasures for $35. And of course, this backpack needed a matching wallet, so here it is. To my knowledge, Loungefly hasn't made any realistic Beetlejuice bags. They have some in character form, I guess is the best way to describe it. I know though that they recently came out with the Deceased Handbook mini backpack. I do like it, but I'll be passing on it because I actually own the crossbody version of it. I will mention that this is not a Loungefly brand, but rather I got it from Hot Topic, so I think it's just their generic brand. I'm not quite sure. I did pair it with some fun Beetlejuice keychains that I also got from Hot Topic. And on the inside, we have our Beetlejuice advertisement page and the lining is a plain black. Also, I completely forgot that I have this matching wallet, so let's take a look at it now. I must have forgotten about this wallet from the last time I used the crossbody bag. So this is considered a tech wallet because there is a space inside to put your phone behind that Beetlejuice advertisement. And even though we don't have an inside zipper, we still have one on the outside, which is fine by me. I love this little set from Hot Topic. If I didn't own it, I would get the Loungefly mini backpack, but since I have it, I just don't feel like I need a backpack also. And finally, for my pride and joy, the Labyrinth. You remind me of the babe. Babe. babe with the power. Power. Power of voodoo. You do. What? Remind me of the babe. I love, love, love this movie. For anyone who hasn't seen it, I can't recommend it enough. It's such a fun and adventurous film, and it has David Bowie in it, so what more of a reason could you possibly need, right? Literally, the soundtrack alone is top-notch in my opinion. And as far as the bag goes, I like that this print has Ludo and Hoggle on it. If there was anything I would change, I do wish the worm was on the print, but it's okay because I did make sure that the keychain had the worm on it. Does anyone want to guess what this bag originally started out as? It's a pretty hard one, but it was a Disney Pets bag from Box Lunch, and I did get it during Box Lunch money, so it was around $35 for it. Really quick, I'll mention that I did customize that metal plate you see. And lastly, I'll show you the matching wallet that I made for the Labyrinth bag. I won't be opening it up though, since I am currently using the bag and the wallet, so all my information and credit cards are inside of it. Now let's check out my whole part two collection. So what do you guys think of these bags? If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments below. I always have fun making these videos, and I hope you enjoy them too. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye, friends.